Alright, hey everyone, welcome to Age of Empires 2 The Conqueror's Expansion. Today, I am bringing you a tutorial on how to fast Imperial. Uh, it's a lot like the Fast Castle, except it is a bit more riskier to pull off. Um, and there are several disadvantages to it. Um, but if you pull it off right, the advantages far outweigh those. So, yeah. Uh, basically, what you want to do is just do your standard dark age build the six villagers on food four on wood sort of spiel and uh yeah so uh just going over here i guess while this normal dark age happens um until stuff starts getting different i will explain what i'm doing or uh what to do um, basically, what a fast imperial is, in the first place, is an, an imperial age rush, um, performed by a player with gunpowder units. This includes the Byzantines, the Teutons, the Spanish, um, the Turks, of course. Uh, they're the best fast imperial civ. And a bunch of other civs, um, or, I mean, a few other civs. There's not that many gunpowder civs, only about... Eh, a little less than half actually um, but basically what you want to do is get to Imperial really fast and get a bunch of cannons and hand cannoneers out to overwhelm your opponent with gunpowder units while he's still in castle age or uh, if you're playing on an open map in like a team game or something they could still be in feudal age which would be pretty funny to see um, but yeah so Basically, you could just do it with any sieve that has really good Imperial Age units. So, um, of course, gunpowder, as I already sta uh, stated. Or uh, you could do it as the Mongols and get OP Mangadai. The problem with that is is that you have to uh, stockpile stone earlier in the game, which would delay your Imperial a little bit. Um, and that is not ideal. And, yeah. So... Uh, this ma this strategy is best for Arena, um, although uh, two other maps it doesn't work quite as well on, but it still works alright, um, is, or uh, two maps are uh, Oasis and Black Forest because those are easy to wall and defend, um, and yeah. So basically uh, just a regular old build here. Um, hmm. What else is there to say? Oh, um, basically the Fast Imperial does have several disadvantages, where if your initial attack doesn't work, uh, I mean, if you still have resources, it's fine, but if your initial attack doesn't work and, um, you don't have enough resources to replenish that attack, um, you are kind of stuck with a bad economy, uh, because... Part of this build involves selling your initial 200 stone um, to get gold, and that, uh, or and to like get to castle age, um, and you need stone to build town centers. So you can't really boom with the fast imperial strategy like you can with fast castling. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I guess you could just use your initial you know, villagers to uh, get a decent sized army out and uh, be able to send in some reinforcements and whatnot. Villager idle time sucks. I had to delete this wall right here because uh, my boar was in a really bad place. Um, that happens on Arabia, or uh, not Arabia, Arena sometimes, um, where your boar spawns outside and you can't bring him to the gate. Um, so, yeah. Um, but I am doing pretty good. I accidentally sent a fifth guy to forage bushes, but uh, yeah, this is where the build starts getting different. So, what you want to have is your five on wood, your four on berries, and your however many you should have on uh, boar I, and sheep. I didn't build farms with these guys because I have to save wood. Um, so, for me, it is actually nine villagers. Uh, you would normally have six. Uh, I go over to build a palisade wall with this guy, and um, or 
so as to make sure I don't get rushed or anything. Uh, that normally wouldn't happen on Arena if they didn't scout out the hole in the wall. Um, but just to be safe. Uh, and then after that I send this guy to gold. Uh, the next few villagers you want are going to go to gold. So by the end of this part right here, you should have the 9 on food. Uh, or 9 on meat. Um, 4 on berries. 5 on wood. And 7 on gold. And uh, once we hit 7, I'll send a couple more villagers to get some more wood. And uh, I will begin hunting, because hunting is a, an efficient source of food. Uh, most We're most efficient on land in the game. Um, so yeah. And... Almost there. One more, and then the next few will go to wood and food. Um, I send two to wood, and then I send two to food, two to build farms after this, but uh, you'll see in a moment. Uh, scouting up the map just to uh, sort of see if he's doing anything outside his base. This is a great time to look for relics too. Like, I know I can't really get that one, but this one and the one in my base are pretty good. And uh, if you find you need some extra gold by um, Imperial Age, um, then it's a worthy investment to take relics um, in a 1v1 at least. So that guy goes to wood and then I have two more villagers left to train um, and you'll see what I do with them in a second. Uh, but yeah, uh, this build isn't exactly specific really. Uh, you just need a certain amount of villagers on everything. Um, but yeah, uh, it's typical to have 13 on food. Um, which I already do have, but uh, I wanted to get some extra food because um, from right here I was seeing that once I got to feudal age I would have a bit of a food crisis. Um, I don't know what I sent this guy to do. Oh, I, I built a farm with him. Uh, my remaining healthy villagers, the last six that I have, go over to build a mill and get the deer, of course. And uh, right about here, you want to research Feudal Age. 30 out of 30 pop. What you should have is 7 on wood, um, 13 to 15 on food, and 7 on gold. Um, I guess you could take stone if you were going to like castle rush or something, but Imperial castle rushes aren't that great. Um, I mean, other than the upgrades, then there's really nothing too special about them. You could just go to Castle Age and do that. Um, but you do have to sacrifice your defense and your economy um, to pull off this build. So I'm going to Feudal. Uh, I get a nice 14-minute-ish. Um, 1340-something, um, actually, um, to be specific. And that's that. And yeah, uh, I keep gathering food with those guys for a bit actually. Um, yes, I am playing against an easy computer because, well, you know, don't want to get wrecked uh, when doing a tutorial, really. <laughs> I don't think I would even if I were against Hardest because I, well, actually, that's hard to say. It usually gets like 12 minute Imperials, so maybe? I'm not sure. But uh, I just wanted to stay on the safe side. So much like the Fast Castle, you want to build a blacksmith and a market. Once you build the market, you want to go over and sell your stone if you're in a 1v1. If you're in a team game, you want to save your stone and um, use it to uh, save up for castles. Now, as you can see, I'm not actually going up to Castle Age. Uh, I was just creating two villagers right there. I set them to food too because, um, of course, Castle Age costs more food than gold. So I wanted to make sure I had a nice even amount by the time I was ready to click up to Imperial. But if you're in a team game, you want to send these two um, villagers 
that you train during Feudal Age, the only two you should train in Feudal Age, to stone, um, to either get up extra TCs and sling your allies, or um, put up a castle to defend them. Um, or even castle rush, I guess. Um, but yeah. In a 1v1, that doesn't really happen, because when there's only one player that's attacking you, it's much easier to defend, and so you don't need town centers or castles or any powerful buildings. Uh, I take two guys off of food, and I send them to wood because I'm having a little bit of a wood crisis right now, and I want to make sure I can get up to Castle Age and afford the two buildings I need, which um, are the monastery and the university. If you're going to boom or something, um, or uh, monastery and siege workshop, workshop or uh, university and siege workshop. And that's to, uh, well, that combination depends on uh, what strategy you're going for. If you want to attack with hand cannoneers or, and uh, some cannons mixed in, then you definitely want to go for the, uh, what's it called? Oh my god, my dog won't shut up. You definitely want to go for the um, siege workshop and the uh, university. Um, but if you have nearby relics, uh, I'd recommend just going Monastery and Siege Workshop. But uh, here I have to go Monastery and University, uh, just because they're, well, I mean, they're the first buildings that came to mind. Um, I decided I was going to boom, but I didn't. <laughs> I started creating hand cannoneers, but uh, you'll see that in a second. Um, while you're switching through the ages, you should actually be getting your upgrades on resources um, to keep yourself from, you know, dying of attrition. Oh, these guys are idle. Oh, that's a bit sad. Um, but that's that. It's already 1830. I don't quite have 200 wood for the university I'm going to build. But uh, there we go. And the university starts going up. And once that's up, um, I can just go ahead and buy the food I need which I of course did right there and then I could just click up right away so pretty easy and that's done can click up and there we go so I clicked up to Imperial at about 19 minutes and 30 seconds uh, not bad. Well, well, a little bit before that. And yeah, so I start collecting more wood uh, to build a barracks um, and an archery range. Because if you want to go for a hand cannon rush, you want to build an archery range. Or um, uh, if you have a siege workshop, you should go for an archery range to back up your cannons with hand cannons. And uh, then just overwhelm your opponent with gunpowder units. He got Aztecs. I don't attack him though, but uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's actually about it. This guy has to idle for a bit because his farm died and I don't really have enough resources because I'm building a barracks. Uh, as you can see, I haven't really added any villagers at all. Um, these are the initial villagers I had in the Dark Age, and uh, I've just kept them the whole time. One thing you really don't want to happen during an Imperial, uh, or a Fast Imperial, is getting rushed. Uh, because if you get rushed, you're so undefended that you can just get destroyed completely. Um, but... Uh, Fortunately, um, that's uh, why this strat isn't for open maps, so, yeah. Start building houses, and uh, start getting an archery range up. It gets up a little bit after Imperial is uh, finished, so, yeah. Uh, these guys are gathering berries over here. Uh, I think I build... A mill right here soon. Well, that doesn't matter. And there's the archery range, and I begin queuing some hand cannoneers. 
and uh, that's just to get the rush going um, and yeah so the strat is a little bit risky at times uh, you have to sacrifice your economy greatly um, and so if you lose your initial army of hand cannoneers and cannons uh, it's a bit of a crushing blow but if you're both fast imperialing it doesn't really matter too much um, but yeah you could try and go for a late boom uh, in a fast imperial but uh, it doesn't always work out that way especially if he fast imperial too and there's cannons destroying your walls uh, it's a bit hard to boom when you can't even get a town center up so yeah but that's about it uh, thank you guys for watching rate comment subscribe and yeah this will be a tutorial of course um, find the rest of those in the tutorials playlist and I will see you guys all later bye